Yeah. Basically, early literacy is anything they know about reading and writing before they can actually read and write. What we want to do is look at ways to make your everyday car trips, even the unexpected parts, be not only a lot more fun in a safe way, but also fun in a way that helps get your kids ready to learn how to read and write. Part of having a successful car trip is preparing the child for what's coming. That also helps early literacy too because they're learning to sequence. First, we're going to get in our car seat. Then we're going to go to your doctor's appointment. Another thing that can be helpful, you can have a let's get ready song. Getting your child into a car seat may or may not be a problem. You can make their car seat into whatever you want. You can pretend they're riding on a dinosaur, sing a little song, the bear went over the mountain, have them climb up the mountain as you're getting into the car seat. When you're strapping the straps, you can pretend it's a giant teddy bear giving them a hug. Once you finally get everybody in, buckled up safely. Talk to them about driving. Say, okay, everybody put your key in. Now let's start the car and they can do some of those things along with you. When you're in the car with a baby, chances are good they're facing away from you. Singing, talking is, is probably most of what you're gonna be doing. That's a very big part of learning language is hearing it. Play music, and it does not have to be kids' music. Play what you like, they're gonna enjoy it too. Once they're forward facing, you can do a little more with them. There are some well-known songs that work very, very well if you're happy and you know it. The wheels on the bus, either with the traditional words or I can make my hands go flap, 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 or clap, clap, clap. Just anything that lets them channel that energy. Anything you do that is associating a symbol with words is reading. So when they see a sign for some place that they recognize, they're reading. Any of the places that you go frequently, you can start saying, oh, there's the sign, that means we're at the grocery store. And even the little ones can, can start recognizing that. In, involve them a little more in talking, where you're going, where you've been. When you see a truck driving by, you can say, what do you think is in that truck? Where do you think they're going? They will probably come up with lots of interesting ideas. It's something that you mostly are just listening to and you don't have to respond a lot to. Anytime you're counting something, you're, you're talking math concepts. Anytime you're, you're using directional words, oh look, up on top of that ladder, you can start introducing spatial concepts by saying, okay, how many traffic lights are between here and grandma's house? If you have newspaper and you don't mind cleaning it out of your car, just letting them tear it, they love that. It's a good pre-writing skill. The finger rhymes, they're fun. The rhyming helps them develop their ability to hear sounds in words. It gives them an opportunity to move. All of those five practices really are playing. There is a game called If You Hear It Clap. You pick a word from a rhyme, say Dumpty. Then you say the rhyme, the child claps whenever they hear that Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. They are really tuned in and listening. They're moving. Another game you can play is they just pretend they're holding a ball. And you can talk about, make your ball teeny tiny. You can have the ball grow. You can have the ball start to float away. Another thing you can do in the car is using socks for puppets. So they have something to manipulate. It's fun, it's movement, and it's play. If you can, can remember to play some of these games, it may head off the child getting fussy. Um, it may actually give you more time. It will definitely be more pleasant. Your child will benefit so much. Mm -hmm.